What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Shane the Hallowed Heathen here. Today is an exciting day. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast or talking loud. Today has been a great day, has been an excellent day, and it's just getting better. I'm about to do my second uh, gym session for today, and today's got a couple surprises, so stay tuned. Um, but without that being said, today is an exciting day, exciting day in part because today is another installment of my do 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 Earn Your Glory series, which as you guys know, is the fitness portion of my channel. It's the channel, it's a part of my channel I love the most, it's a part of my channel I'm most passionate about. Obviously I'm passionate, or I try to be passionate about everything I do, but at the same time, something about fitness in general just gets me giddy, right? It makes me like a little kid. So, <laughs> with that being said, I, I can't hide that. That's my dork coming out. I mean, that's just how I am with it. And I'm hoping that ultimately it does the same thing to you guys. I'm hoping you guys find something in your life, whether it's fitness, um, financial, you know, something professional, something personal, family, whatever the case may be, that allows you guys to be giddy like a little kid. Because having that, that thing in your life that'll make you happy will also keep you passionate, keep you motivated, and keep you on point. So, make fun of me. <laughs> say anything you guys want fitness makes me giddy so i'm super excited so with with that being said so my last video if you guys did see it my last video I touched on uh in my opinion two prime aspects of success um one being continuous motion the other being the realization or the acceptance of failure yes failure is hard to talk about failure is hard to go through but failure in my opinion is essential and is part of the journey to success. You have to have failure in order to succeed. Unless you're some kind of, you know, <clears throat> sorry. Unless you're some kind of, you know, weird alien entity or species that can accomplish success without failure, then I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> but in my opinion, for anybody out there who wants true success or even any form of success, failure is a part of that. So as part of this video, I do want to slightly touch on that today and put it in real life perspective before I get into my second gym session of the day. Also, um, I have slightly unintentionally snaked you guys. Um, <laughs> so with that being with that being thrown out there, um, I was telling you guys I was training twice a day. That's not entirely true. I'm actually training three times a day. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a push-pull split, which I'll explain here in a second. But I'm training in the morning, early in the morning, and I'm doing abs and cardio. My cardio, again, fluctuates between 45 minutes and an hour, and then usually about 15, 20 minutes of abs. And then I'm starting my day, going about my day, starting to work, you know, just getting after the grind, right? Trying to make the money. Um, but then later on in the day, about 4.35 o'clock-ish, which it's about 4.30 right now, so I should be getting working out here pretty quick, which is why I'm shooting a video real fast. Um, also, I'm trying to help keep myself in a time frame time frame that way I'm not doing insanely long videos that you guys can't get through so that's kind of the whole point of this anyways so um I'm working out in the morning doing cardio and abs <clears throat> my second gym, gym session is mid to late afternoon um it is my actual uh muscular aspect where I'm actually you know doing volume exercises uh doing weight exercises and really pumping as much blood into my muscle and really stretching out that fascia as much as possible to really give myself as much as a of a pump and as much growth as possible, which has been hard, especially with having very, very limited equipment such as dumbbells, uh, resistance bands, and a cardio bike. Not really a lot you can do. So I've actually been on the hunt as of Reese recently um, for something to enhance my workouts, which I'll get to here in a second. So without further ado, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do update time. So today was an official weigh-in. If you guys want to see future weigh-ins to prove I'm not lying. I can definitely do that. Let me know in the comments below. But today was an official weigh-in, and as you guys know, my weight has been gradually uh, decreasing. Um, I like to think that it's been gradually, de gradually decreasing because I've been doing it right. I've been replacing muscle with the fat and the water I'm losing, as well as getting overall healthier. But it has been gradually decreasing. So last we checked in, I was sitting at uh, just over 300 pounds. And as of today, I am finally under the 300 pound mark. So I'm sitting solidly at 296 pounds. Well, not solidly because I still have a lot of fat and a lot of water weight to lose, but I'm getting better, right? Getting better each and every day. That is the whole goal behind this other than motivation, other than changing people's lives, touching people's lives, improving somebody's mindset is to make sure I'm getting better each and every day and doing it right. So my update, once again, I'm at sitting solidly once again at 296 pounds, wink, wink. And on top of that, I'm feeling better. 
I'm overall just more more energized. I'm sleeping a ton better, like a freaking baby actually, which is super awesome. Um, on top of that, my overall resting heart rate has gone down substantially. Um, my cardiovascular just in general is better. I can actually start to see uh, veins as I work out, whereas before they were just hidden, dude. And that was due to a couple different things, including my diet. My diet's getting better, by the way. Um, overall, my, my skin's getting healthier. My hair, oddly enough, is getting healthier. Um, my overall just general sense of being is just overall improving, including my mind, because I have been expanding it by reading, as you guys know, and I have some super interesting information I found out, which I will not touch on in this video, but it's been super enlightening. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that's my update for me. I'm feeling better. Uh, I've kind of, kind of gotten off the wind sprints because again, I want to be able to, uh, gain muscle and put on size while I'm losing fat. And although wind sprints did, um, help me to lose the weight. I feel as though they're kind of counterproductive to me putting on size. So I'm doing them still once or twice a week, um, but I'm not doing them as intensely as I was. However, I am still doing intense cardio when it comes to boxing, MMA style training, as well as the the bike and jogging. So still sticking to my cardio, still helping that as much as I can, still getting faster, better, stronger each and every day, right? Um. Anyways, so, uh, getting past the update. So as I've said, I will have been recently on the hunt for something to improve my overall health. As you guys know, we're still in the whole COVID-19 crap and gyms are still closed. Sad face. Hmm. Anyways, gyms are still closed. And because of that, again, everything I'm doing here at the house is to accomplish my goals. I would otherwise be accomplishing in the gym, but they are very, very limited because I have very limited equipment, right? Again, I have free weights, dumbbells, I have resistance bands, and I have the bike. So again, not a lot of versatility there. So I have been on the hunt for a home gym to better overall improve my gains and my overall state, right? Now, I wasn't looking for anything extravagant. I was looking for something that would basically be able to get the job done until gyms reopen. Something that will allow me to pump more blood in the muscle. Something that will allow me to intense, to, to more intensely, I should say, to more intensely focus on um, stretching and building those muscle bellies as well as, as well as stretching and building the muscle fascia, something that will have resistance, something that will have a little bit of more weight and a little bit more struggle and intensity behind it. And something that is storable and can be put in a small space. Cause I don't have a lot of extra space in my house, but something that once again, overall be able to get the job done. Um, so yeah, with that being said, the hunt is over. I have finally finally found something, um, which I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Um, so yeah, hunt's finally over. I finally found something to once again, um, improve my overall gains, improve my overall state. Cause once again, what I keep saying, the goal is to get better each and every day. And part of that getting better is again, keeping continuous motion, right? So always find a way to do better. Always find a way to improve. Always find a way to not necessarily reinvent the wheel, but make sure the will works better or more in your favor, right? So part of that is once again, me realizing that gyms aren't opening anytime soon and finding something to supplement that pump that we all so desperately chase and allow myself to have that resistance to then really put the strain and the pressure on my muscles and to allow them to um, really, you know, grow and expand more, right? So we've accomplished that. We finally have something that will supplement that. Now, so that's my kind of my real life scenario spiel that will relate to continuous motion is always finding a way to improve, always finding a way to get better, always finding a way to, again, make things work better for you and your situation, right? You can't always control what happens to you, but you can always control how you react to it. You see a problem, you see, you know, you see a bad situation, you see something that is going to affect your life in a negative way, see that as an opportunity and see that as something that you can overcome, an obstacle you can then, um, twist and mangle and mutate to then suit your purposes, right? Always have that mindset that you can always control how you react. And you can always find a silver lining in everything you do and always find a way for yourself to continuously improve even through the hardest situations, which is what we are currently in right now. So direct relation, right? The other part of getting better is I found out from a very close family friend 
that she loves the fact of, you know, the, fa the fact that I'm willing to put myself out there. She also loves the fact I sound excited. I sound amped. I sound happy about what I'm talking about. But she pointed out she's a family person. She's a family woman. She has a husband. She has kids. And due to that, she couldn't actually subscribe and watch my videos. Because as you guys know, I have kind of a sailor's mouth. So her being a good mom, and I'm giving her complete props, there's no sarcasm in that whatsoever. Her being a good mom decided that she would have to wait till her kids or family was out of the room in order to watch my videos because they weren't family friendly. So as a way to help improve not only my channel, but myself, again, getting each better each and every day, as a way to help improve myself, my channel, and allow myself to get better, I am going to not filter myself or limit what I say, but I am going to be start attempting or trying my hardest to become more family friendly. Therefore I can hopefully reach out and touch more people. Cause I feel like everything I'm saying, everything I'm saying is extraordinarily motivational and can be extraordinarily beneficial to a younger group of people where they can, it can help them shape their lives in order to be successful and productive individuals of society. Right? So I definitely want to be able to touch as many people as I possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and work towards becoming a better person and having more of a filter to where I'm more professional and more, uh, more universally accepted in my approach. Right? So yeah, excellent. So again, I'm about to do my second gym session of the day, but before I do, um, I want to once again, talk to you guys, or I want to once again talk to you guys about success and then correlate, you know, continuous motion. Also in failure, my failure was just directly was that I wasn't making myself available to everybody to then touch and motivate everybody because of my speech or because of the way I talked, because the way I presented myself or because, because of my language in general, right? So my failure was, is I was limiting my reach because I wasn't giving two craps about how it's perceived, how it was talking. I didn't really think it was affecting anybody, which was very, very selfish and small minded of me, but I am going to improve and allow myself to then reach out and touch that many more people. Right. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so that's my failure. I'm realizing this failure, but I'm also focusing on small successes. One of those small successes is I am keeping the mindset of continuous motion and allowing myself to continuously improve and take action and therefore alter my approach to then become better. Right. So as I told you guys, there are a couple surprises here at the end of the video. We're almost at the end. First surprise I want to show you guys is once again, I, as you guys can see, I'm in my basement in my storage room that I've turned into my gym area. So welcome to the the bat cave, if you will. <laughs> um, so as I told you guys, I've been on the hunt for a uh, home gym that will help me improve and allow me to focus more on that resistance portion of the training, the volume, and getting more blood into the muscle and really giving more of an intense um, focus on my muscles, right? So that way I can go ahead and have more of an edge getting back into the gym. Now, obviously it won't, it won't accomplish the same thing that heavy or free weights will as far as building your body, but it will allow me to not lose as much and kind of mitigate my losses and allow me to maintain more of that edge I need in order to accomplish what I want, right? So without further ado, I have purchased da -da -da, this beast right here. So what you guys are seeing is this is called a Weeder crossbow. Again, nothing extravagant, nothing special, but it folds up, it fits in small spaces, and it ha uses that whole power raw technology, so I am able to utilize that to give myself a resistance as well as a weight, and allow me to then better improve my workouts. Now, the other surprise is again, what I've been trying to do this channel is I've been trying to touch people's lives, improve, pe improve people's mindsets and well-beings, and my biggest portion has been, I've been trying to lead by example, right? Well, obviously again, small successes, it is working because this whole earn your glory series, this whole earn your glory um, journey has become a family affair. So as you guys can see, I'm here with two of my sons. This is Troy and Seahawks hat. This is Hunter back here. And again, I, my whole goal behind this from a family perspective is to set the example and lead by example, right? And as you guys can see, they saw me getting better, you know, each and every day and trying to prove myself each and every day. They wanted a part of the action. So what are we doing? We're in here getting better. I've bought this machine for my entire family, my wife, my kids, myself, in order to allow themselves to focus on whatever goals they have and get themselves better. I've also invited them to be a part of this experience with me. And I've also allowed myself to be a conduit or a, a consultative 
individual for them in their journeys and whatever they want to accomplish, right? So with that being said, as I said earlier in the vlog, earlier in the video, that I'm about to do my second gym session, which means we're gonna get some, right guys? Get, 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 get some! some! So with that being said, you guys, I appreciate the love, appreciate the support. Um, again, I'm here with my sons, we're about to get it in. I'm about to kind of walk them through how to really once again improve their bodies and allow themselves to get um, whatever they want out of life, right? So I'm gonna kind of give them a little tutorial on how to contract your muscles, how to move your muscles in order to accomplish what you want and how to really um, tell the difference between just going through the motions and actually getting that pump and actually really dialing in and focusing on the muscular contractions and have that mind muscle connection. So I'm about to teach my boys some stuff they're gonna carry on hopefully into manhood. And as always guys, if you got something out of this video, be sure to make sure to smash that and like button. There you go. Also comment, um, subscribe, turn on notifications, say anything you want in the comments. I'm more than happy to address you guys and tell you guys anything I have. Um, and just like that, just like that, this video is over. And, and we're out. out. Peace. Peace.